Well, at least we got some customers. <laughs> All right, welcome back on the Nation server, everybody. This is Nicholas Baco, and today we are going to be having another episode on here this is episode 18 last episode we did a halloween prank which yeah some people seem to enjoy and i just checked my base back there back home and it seems like we got back pranked but first of all let's check out this donation chest there's also something in here oh ho ho pumpkins ironically <laughs> and steak who can never who 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 never needs that whatever you know what i mean who who does not need that who does not need a good source of food anyway <laughs> we are currently on with counter punch tv ferrarosa machine gunner 23 and ashley this is like this right there ashes is ashley and machine gunner 23 is eric and you can see rails i'm gonna come to that in just a moment and everything is pretty much messed up in here that um that's what we are gonna talk about in just a minute so um as we go through here even that door is messed up hell you can already see it there are some pumpkins and these pumpkins say cam who could that be camzo islands maybe <laughs> we have got several pumpkins in here as well but here there are also so many pumpkins and hell knocking out my storage room right here and budgie's also crazy so yeah I'll have to clean all of that up that is luckily not so much but still and I've also seen that there is a sign right up here saying I thought you'd like your pumpkins back Camzo Islands PS I brought some of my own pumpkins okay Cam okay thanks for my pumpkins <laughs> and I guess I'll clean that up later on when when a silent hour is there whatever don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> so let's go back through this rail um was there forever now but this one in the nether wasn't there since last episode and um it is for villagers which are out of my villager breeding system right here and um these villagers are going to be used for a certain system yeah i guess you can call it system and let's just head over there be before it talk too much don't want to spoil anything Ooh, go back through that portal uh -huh, uh -huh. okay go back come on come on go back quick quick swift <laughs> So, <laughs> as you can see, pretty messy with that rail going through here. And speaking of rails, Vera Rosa wants to build North Pole. And she wants to build North Pole at a very special spot, which is um, at an ice bike biome, which is a couple of thousand blocks away. And therefore, she needs rails. And I also am short of iron and now I stocked up on quite some bits of iron and that is because Counter Punch TV and I took I don't know maybe three hours and built this iron farm I'm gonna show you but first let me get another jam in here cat is always awesome so um yeah as you can see a really basic iron farm easy to build but it has really really good rates I mean seriously so well iron golems are gonna spawn in there and then they are gonna fall in to that middle right here let me turn my sounds down because that this is quite noisy okay there we go um 
They are gonna fall down here, but where are they gonna get transported? I don't know. Maybe to Uncle Nick's or so? I don't know. <laughs> well, I sure know, but... You know, this river looks really nice. It's going from here, underneath that bridge right there. And... You know, that river? Is that normal? Of course it isn't. If I ask you like that, you have to be alarmed. There is something technical involved again. So... This time it's not super duper high tech, but if we go down here, there's a secret entrance. There's just a sign and a lever. And right next to that orange tulip, then a hole is going to open. And where are these 6P? God damn it. And then we can just go in here and check out and see that life is good. We should see an iron golem incoming pretty soon because I figure that iron golems in this farm spawn pretty quickly when more people are on. Like now we are five people online so it should go rather quickly and these dang XP ops <laughs> and um, I think this uh, spawning rates come from the code whatever that it thinks it has to spawn a golem for every single person i don't really know what is happening there but as you can see he's stocking up on quite some iron counter punch tv took like i don't know maybe 30 blocks of iron for fedora rosa's track but that's perfectly fine so this is an iron golem counter pretty easy 50 iron golems since i last reset it so let's reset it right now Put that back in there that is basically a dropper hooked up to a tripwire which is there and when we go into oh man getting lots of lag right now let's try and hop back on maybe then some things will be different okay xp orb seem to be gone music as well oh so if we hop on back through here, we can see the trip wires right here. There's the dropper with the nether rack inside. And this right here is just a simple command, um, not command, note block on um, fence. So it makes this sound. Boom. <laughs> just so we know that there is an iron golem coming through. It's not too loud, but it's also okay-ish. So you know when an iron golem comes through, pretty much just a little fun thing. And then they fall down back there, head into a water stream. And then they're gonna end up in this lava blade, which kills them. And their loot gets, uh, yeah, gets collected by these hoppers and ends up in here. So that is pretty much all that's to it and then when we're down here and don't want to be detected we can just close it again and then just hang out here this is where i afk the most of my time and um collect some iron for projects for hoppers for everything and iron is always good to have okay so i think that was enough talking for now so let me get prepared i think i'll first plan out something in the creative world i know what we want to do today however i still need to figure out a, an exact plan on what we want to do so i'll meet you tomorrow i guess so of course after a second for you but tomorrow for me so then i'll see ya when i plan something out and by the way i've put these acacia trees there just to give it a little bit more looks and i really like this river going around the land and then going into the ocean which is behind there really nice really cool so i'll see ya tomorrow and then we will begin with a plan all right so we back it is a lot of time later actually and it's two days and that's a long time just chilling around at the iron golem farm here and we've been getting quite some loot over the last couple of days almost nine stacks of iron and 
these iron blocks right here which is fairly nice fairly nice loot and let's check how many iron golems have gone through since we reset it whoa that's a lot <laughs> that's a sure lot so let's head on back out because we don't want to hang around at this stinking farm all the time no you're not stinking and by the way as you can see right down there in the second hot bar slot and there goes another one with the notebook you could hear that and now we should hear him dying uh, cannot hear him dying but Oh well, I know he's dying. So Counterpunch TV told me that he is working on the street lighting. Like he wanted to um, remove most of the torches here, and that needs to stay there for now. So no mobs will spawn. So he decided to add in these glowstone lamps, uh, lamps or what? What are they called? Huh? What are you called? Come here, redstone lamp. Okay. So he's hooked up this daylight sensor to it. I still need to add in green glass since he destroyed it or somebody else destroyed it. And um, he said he was not 100% sure if he liked this design or he needs to figure out something else. But I don't know. I think I like it quite much. But this right here, uh, it seems kind of inefficient. Let's check the lighting. Oh yeah, BL is block lighting, zero, zero, one, two, three. So that doesn't really do the trick. Mobs can spawn at BL7, which would be here and all below. So I think if we remove that, it should be a lot brighter. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think you would have to remove these. So you get an efficient lighting source, Counter Punch TV. If you're watching this, um, let's see. There are still some spawning spots in here, but that should not be a super big deal. However, you might add in iron um, pressure plates on here. Hmm. I'm not sure. You'll have to figure out with that if you're watching. And what is this? I don't know what that is. I just logged onto the server, was AFKing a bit and doing some work. Speaking of work, there hasn't been a video yesterday. Oh, look, they're carrying guns. <laughs> yeah, that's the new texture I added. Just for fun, I wanted to try around some things with the uh, resource pack. Come on, why I'm not hitting? There we go. So, um... Oh, he actually dropped this gun. Wonderful. So, where was I? You take a gun job. Take another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And somebody attacking from behind? No. So, speaking of work, um, yesterday there wasn't a video uploaded because I had so much stuff to do. I was so tired at school. Yeah, is <laughs> messing right now, massive, lots of work and all that other stuff. Uh oh, I think I looked at him. No, don't even try and teleport to me. Okay, that should be good. So there hasn't been a video because of so much work. I'm sincerely sorry for that, but I hope you understand. So there's hoppers right here. Huh. Oh quite some stuff in here and this seems like a drop shoot or something is there a dungeon let's go down here seems like it with all these water streams but I'm not sure what is this uh -huh. okay nothing in here yet I don't know what that could be maybe yeah I'll likely um, figure this out in the next couple of days at least and as you can see, minecart spinning around there. This is my new plot right here. I reserved it with this one because today, if you are a long-term or relatively long-term subscriber of mine, um, you should know that in episode 5 of The Nation, we tested around with some um, reaction tests. 
This anime is driving me crazy. Um, with some reaction tests with minecarts and boats, and um, I kind of got the inspiration to make a little shooting range here, and not like the stereotypical shooting range, you know, with uh, just like these fields with like red in the middle and then circles going around it. I don't know how. Yeah, targets. Yeah, I think they're called targets. At least if you know the target logo from the... Who's shooting? Oh, you are. From the uh, target market in the US, then you should know what I mean. And yeah, I want to build something desert themed. I want to grab me a lot of sand and cacti and plant them all over here. And then I want carts, not particularly this type just circling around but I want to have reaction tests so every once in a while a card is going to pop out out of any um, secret like yeah secret space kind of out of a certain um, spot and then this is going to be um, not like with the timer, first this one, then this one, and then this one, but it's going to be randomized. Then that could be, for example, this one, and then again this one, and then this one, and then this one, but then again this one, and so on. You know what randomization is, I bet. So, um, this was pretty much what I planned on doing here, and also this was just sort of a reservation of this plot, but... Uh, now this thing is blocking the view. Uh, I'll have to figure out what that is for and if it's for a good reason it can stay there. However, I would prefer if it would get some more um, finishing touches or something. I guess you can call it that with prettier blocks and stuff. Because a huge cobble uh, yeah, square right here doesn't really feel like it's a nice building and yeah I'll have to figure out with that so um, my inventory is such a mess right now so I'll go back to my base get me some junk together so we can um, start building or we can look at the prototype I thought of and think of something different then like how we can use it and all that sort of stuff so I'll meet you in a second when I got prepared alright just one little thing I would like to point out because people seem to have um, difficulties hell there's a large ravine going through spawn um, seem to have difficulties with the x-ray devices I have shown in a separate video how on how to find dungeons so let me search a clear spot there should be some clearness <laughs> over here, I guess. Let's just try and go down here. Yeah, yeah, that should be good. So the thing is, we are in 1.7 right now and you can still use this machine. The th only thing you have to do is go up as close as you can to it and then place the lower block and the upper block and then move back into it and then you should be able to see all the caves and all that other great stuff in there again so let me get some other stuff together and then we'll finally start building on our project alright folks so I'm here at my base and um, currently riding this horse which I brought back from the savanna and it is quite fast as you can see it yeah it has a decent speed and the thing I also like about it is that it can jump up fairly high it's I think it's three blocks or so we might have to test that in another episode but um yeah we haven't even bred this thing yet we might also do that in the next episode so um let me get a lead so it does not escape cape from us because that happens too often with my horses and let's head on back to spawn so we, if we would breed this horse with a another one which is also fairly decent by the way this is all messed up still need to fix that but the road uh, the 
dirt with the tracks in the nether right here and the um, pumpkins at my base are gone now so that is nice but if we breed that um, horse with another decent one we might even get a better one which is combined out of these two so if you combine a fast horse with a horse which can jump really high you'll get a horse which can jump really high and which is very fast so that is good so let's go back to our plot forgot to um grab some cacti for the desert feeling but i don't think we might um i don't think we uh will do it today because i've only got limited time so i'm just gonna go over the basics a little bit and explain what we are going to do so this is not a one episode project this will extend to many many episodes and um let's begin i think yeah i have set up a randomizer system in my creative world and it works like this so you have these two droppers with hoppers on top of them and then a block right here with a button let's make a button let's make a couple and then put it on here so as you can see this button will power both of these droppers and then uh, these droppers will um, put items into the hoppers and then the hoppers will bring them back into the droppers so might sound a little bit confusing but it's not <laughs> At least it shouldn't be if I explain it correctly. So now we have that redstone right there and that controls um, how much is in this hopper. So if we would for example throw in a stackable item which is 46 it'll only get one signal strength. So look at it. There you go. There was just a little bit of signal strength right there. But if we would, for example, throw in our bow, by the way, this is another one, I just died, so I had to make a new one. And then if we throw that in there, that takes up an entire spot in the hopper, so it will send out a signal strength of 3, but 2 is also enough to notice what we want to do. So, the thing is, if you have uh, two of these combined with each other, uh, other <laughs> with each other you can um yeah let's just show it in action so we put in one stackable item in each of these and one non stackable item and then another one here and another one here and now you can look at these signal strings so let me go up here and then try to get a good angle look on it so now we can check yeah <laughs> Skeleton, don't disturb me. I'm trying to work out something. So, anyway, let's try this again. So, look at the signal strength. Now, there was one up in there. So, that means that um, this one wouldn't have powered a block, which would be right here with a um, lamp or something else behind it. Just to clarify what we're doing here, let's put a lamp here. So this is a sort of two or three output actually. No, actually four, but then we would need to set up a separate system. So when I um, combine this with a, an end gate, it will um, work as a three output system, but therefore it's fairly compact. So now look at it. Now none of the lights triggered. Now, once again, this light triggered and hit it once again. None of the lights. And then this one and this one again. And oh, these dang skeletons gonna gonna shoot every each of you. And this spider can die as well. Okay, <laughs> so it's really randomized because you cannot really affect it. It might look like it's um a little bit yeah kind of with a system to it but it isn't as you could see both of these trigger at the same time and now only this one and now only this one and now only this one and now none of them and now this one again and this is pretty much all that's to it and if we now want to put uh get, get out three inputs like 
this one would be an input with this lamp and this one would be an input we could hook up dispensers with minecarts to each of these um, but the thing is we don't want to only have two of these we want to have at least three so the thing what we're just gonna do is hook up this end gate to it which works just like this it is gonna um, let's actually make this a little bit more different and knock this out all right there we go and now use these torches let me think yeah yeah that should work out just fine and this is the end gate which I'm talking about um, all the time so when both of these are on um, the thing we want to reach is that we get this signal to power but only when both of these hoppers drop out a non-stackable item which takes up an entire slot in this hopper so might seem a little bit confusing but you will um, know by the time when I explain this so we want to have a um, signal coming out of here which is input number one let's call this number one let's call this number two and this in the middle here is number three but the thing is when um, these both of these hoppers get an unstackable item in there not only this light is going to trigger but all of these are going to trigger and we need to prevent that if we use just a regular repeater here and set it to four ticks and then another repeater on no delay so it locks the other one then we should be able to uh, it needs to go to here I think then we should be able to lock this one before the signal comes out of here so oh, these dang mobs all disturbing while doing this video get a gun job okay um and so this repeater should be locked and now it's raining dang it this repeater should be locked by the time um this goes on because this is gonna go on earlier but only when both of the torches are gonna go on so only this signal is going on so I'll test that in a minute let's just build it up so you can um, see what I'm doing here let's put that here and this one goes here put that to four ticks so as you can see this needs a longer delay until it um, registers this as being powered and this one is gonna power it earlier then so let's see we have the signals coming out of there and let's put our glory lamps here here and right here where that torch is all right so let's take in our little spot again and then hit this button so now as you can see both of these triggered but these didn't so it works like a charm now only this triggered and now if we hit the button once again nothing triggered we could also hook up something here but that would make it even more complicated i might think about that in the yeah in the future or something if we have a torch here that controls pretty much if anything goes on and then we can have another input to it and <sighs> a spider on speed man 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 and then we could have another input but three of these should be enough for now and then if we hit it once again nothing again and now this one triggered and nothing and now this one again so as you could see it locks them and nothing and this one now and this one again and this one okay so as you can see everything is basically um, randomized and it's all nice and cool and working properly so now we need to hook up this oh 30 levels we might enchant something as well um, we could hook up this system to my cards but I don't have dispensers hmm and I'm running low on time so I think we'll do this next episode or in the future 
because yeah i need to get this episode done now we might enchant something and then we will be um off for now because yeah as i said i'm low on time and it is already past 6 p.m and i try to upload these videos at um yeah 9 p.m at my time so i've only got three hours and that is going to be really tough to do then and um i'm trying my best i'm trying my best not that it's my job but I still want to satisfy my viewers, don't want to leave them behind, because, yeah, YouTube is a hobby, but it's a really time-intensive hobby, so you need to, um, yeah, remind yourself about that as well, so it's not like you can only play the game, you have to edit it, and render it, and then upload it, and then write descriptions, make a thumbnail, which is the, um, like picture which you see when you search the video and then that's the picture that appears on the screen then and you know it's really time intensive so I'm just jumping around here doing my stuff so let's see I've traded for a bunch of stuff so let's let's try these boots maybe we can get a little bit of feather falling on there because I always just wear mob armor what is this? Is this kind of... Yeah. Seems to be a glitch. Um, oh. Don't want to wear them yet. Let's enchant them first. So let's go for the first one. And it's blast protection and unbreaking. Uh, it's decent. But... Oh well, I can trade for more for pretty much... Just a little bit of time and effort and then we should be able to get some more. And this stinking zombie meat is laying around here for a long time now. So I'll do some more stuff here and then we'll see us in the next episode. Please leave a like if you like this one because as I said I'm always happy and it's still just a hobby for me. So I always like to be supported and then we will see us and yeah all i said leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and want to and then i say it the third time now we'll see us next time <laughs>